Okay, we're at the Paradise Point cabin build. Brother Wayne has got all the logs sanded. He's got the, the joist sanded, the seven by nine joist. And we're getting ready to put the flooring up, which is a tongue and groove two by eight. It's all stacked up here on the floor, nice and neat. Now this is a V edge, tongue and groove flooring. You can see the, the V here and here. Now this is flooring that I made and hopefully it'll all fit together. What we've done, we've got a ledger down through here and it's anchored on with three and a half inch torque screws and I countersunk those holes and we'll come back and I'll take some dowel rod and fill those holes up and sand it down. But I put the same little chamfer on the bottom of it as I did on the joist. I came out eight inches from either end and started the chamfer and that'll hold the ends of the boards from this area over to this first joist. What I'm doing on these tongues, I'm taking my, my little block plane and just kind of knocking that sharp corner off. That will help when we put the next board on, through slide over that. This makes it a lot easier to, to put it together. When you're making your own stuff like this, there's maybe a little bit more that you need to do to it. Uh, I made this on a table saw. I have some tongue and groove bits, but they wouldn't go up to inch and a half uh, thickness of the board. We've started putting the, the tongue and groove flooring down. We've got a few boards across there. It's got some blue streaks in it. I think that it kind of adds some character to it. Okay, I've got to get back up there and get back at it.
we've got the floor all in in the loft area. This is what it looks like from underneath. The massive beams have a look of strength and they are definitely strong. Seven by nines with a two by eight tongue and groove flooring. I don't think there will ever be a problem. Thank you.